first started, well, I just knew that when I went to the exhibit that I had to recreate these images and so that other people could see them because I just, I just fell in love with them. I fell in love with these images. Um, they're just so fun to look at. So I started um, putting them on spoon holders. Um, I make flat, round, you know, flat spoon holders for stovetops. So I started putting the images on those. And then um, after that, I started making various size trays. And uh, because some of the images are they're, they're a little more detailed and they're larger. And so now I put them on trays too. I have various size trays that I put them on. And I use predominantly porcelain because the, the images are black on white. Um, almost all of the images are black on white as they got later. Um, well, there's one image that I use that you know, it, it was red, and I keep to the red. And I, I have another image that I use that uh, it's of a it's of a gecko. I make. Uh, I also put the images, a couple of the images, on mugs. I put um, mosquitoes, which are red, and geckos. I made green for just for the mugs. The rest I stay pretty much black and white on the porcelain, and um, I. I do some stoneware trays and plates too, and I use the images on those just for kind of a different look. It's a, it's earthier, but the clear glaze on the porcelain it's black and white, and um, which is is true to what the the original pottery was. The images that I picked, I just picked images that were fun. I just um, looked at just went through the images, looked at the images, and uh, those that struck me. On the spoon holders, you know, they, they, they were small. You know, they, they might be one gecko, or maybe a quail, or um, an insect, something like that, um, to put on the spoon holders. There's a really great little dragonfly that I use, and, uh, and I found a cricket. It's really cute. Um, so for the spoon holders, it's just like one image. For the for the trays and and, and the plates I do, I might. Um, there's one image that has like um, say a couple of fish with a wavy line through it, and then of course the um, the trays and plates. I usually put like a, a, a border with maybe a little detail in it. Um, one of my favorite images is called Men Swimming with Fish, and I've used variances of that, and, uh, and, and it's really popular. Um, whenever I have one, it gets sold right away. And another um, image that is really cool, it's called Crane Swallowing Fish, and it's a, there's a crane's head in the bottom, and his, his body kind of curls around. And, uh, and there's like fish that are kind of attached to his his neck. He's got like a super long neck and then a body in the middle. But it's it's really fun, and uh, that's a really popular one too. So you think you'll keep doing these for forever? <laughs> um, I I think I'll probably you know I can't see when I wouldn't be doing them because. Uh, it's relaxing to paint them on the pottery, and uh, and I always love looking at them when they come out. And I'm and I'm always kind of even though I'm happy I make a sale, I'm always sorry that it's gone, so I have to make more. <laughs>